Thank you for keeping up with NN Extra. Ah, I was about to say keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> anyway, we are, let's, we, I want us to talk about uh, journalist Chiko Lawi. I think everybody saw this video of him having a meltdown uh, at the airport. Just because he wanted to take a selfie with a Jamaican reggae singer, Damian Mali, the last one son of uh, legendary reggae singer Bob Mali. But I don't know what happened. Uh, it, it looks like maybe Damian was tired or something. But one of the people from his entourage actually stopped him from trying to take a selfie. And uh, it actually ex escalated to them exchanging very explicit words. So Damian doesn't talk to people, ignores someone. This guy, like Damien Marley. <laughs> Damien Marley. <laughs> you, Damien. <laughs> this reggae man. Oh, I'm a big fan, by the way, but f him anyway. There you are. For me, I feel like I blame social media for this. I blame the keyboard right. warriors because. We have reached a, a level, a uh, situation why, where when I when I walk maybe for an example, I walk into a restaurant, I get maybe bad service. The next thing is I'm taking my smartphone, taking pictures, and then writing, "This is the worst racist restaurant ever," thinking that I will make this thing go viral instead of I think, I think, instead of mm -hmm. going uh, actually to talk to the people and finding a better solution for how for me to solve the situation. We need we need, we need to realize one thing as Kenyans. Celebrities do not owe us pictures. Yes. It is not our right. Life, yeah. It is not our right for, for me to take a selfie with a, with a celebrity. Mm -hmm. It is up for me to request that celebrity, hi, can I please, you know, with a lot of respect, take a picture with you. If you are not in a position to take a picture, then you saying no is not, is, I should not take it offensive or yes. personal. Yes. I think what Chikolawi did here is that he took it very personal. Yes. You know, what, whatever that was, that was so uncalled for. Mm -hmm. It was so uncalled for and embarrassing for, for, for such an adult, you know, someone in his mid 40s or 50s or 30s, <laughs> I don't care, <laughs> who's catching feelings. No, seriously, seriously. No, wait, before, let me finish. Before we go to You're you catching you feelings. Go. You're <laughs> catching feelings, beco feelings because another man, another man, another man, another man has refused to take a picture of you. And if it was Rihanna, I'd catch a feeling. I regret that. Honestly, if it was Rihanna, Beyonce, I'd catch a feeling. Okay. But okay. another man, I did not want to switch her. Before we jump in, that was so embarrassing. And, uh, and then he brimmed on uh, <laughs> Chico. I think that airport incident has, no, has not been clearly explained what happened. Because we have like, I don't know, four versions of story. <clears throat> we have an external party that is also introduced in the story at some point. So, uh, and we, we also have uh, that there was an exchange of insults mm -hmm. uh, that started from, uh, I don't know, Damien Male, one of his, uh, mm. his, his people. Of his, his people. people. Mm. So, it, it's not very clear, but from one uh, version of the story that I had, uh, I think uh, Chico might have reacted uh, that way. Uh, because that person said that uh, he, I uh, mean, he, that, that is Damien, mm -hmm. uh, insulted uh, uh, Chikolawi's yes, mother. Yes. So, and he reacted that way as a result of that. And I, I think uh, even, even, even I, if someone insulted my mother, maybe I, I would overreact. But mm -hmm. Chico again was, uh, I mean, he, he became the big guy and came out open and he apologized for that. Yes, he has, that, a, he has that apologized. Was a, that, that to me was that, not an apology. That, that was you, do not, you do not apologize and then you say, you know, I'm only apologizing because, you know, yeah. you do not give an it apology and then there is a bad. Yeah. If you're apologizing, just apologize. And for give everything. An apology. For everything. You do not apologize and then say, but. oh, but you know. <laughs> and then let me tell you, if, if Chico's love mother was the issue, that's the issue he could have addressed in the yes. video. Not the fact that this guy, Anajiskia, that he could take selfies. That was the issue. That's not, not, he, yeah, that's he what could he have said about, that yeah. in the video. He could have said you know, that, he yeah. said, I'm doing this video because these guys have insulted my mother. And that was just <laughs> purely on the basis that he was denied a video or a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I don't get? Like, whoever's right, whoever's wrong, whatever the real version of the story is. Yes. Why would you, in the same video where you are 
shouting all the scarce words, talking about her Damien Miley's, all the strong things. Why would you then say you're still going to go to his concert? I mean, that, I honestly, I don't see yeah. him. You know, it's have denied him the selfie, but I got a video <laughs> when he was actually <laughs> giving <laughs> insulting him. Yeah, I, because he made sure he got Damien on the background, uh, all the same. But I, I'm, 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 I'm saying, I, I, I'm, I think Chico is, um, he's a family man. He has kids, uh, I, I think. So is this an example he wants to give that to his kids? Even if my child and someone insults me as his mother, is that the way that my kid should react by insulting the other person? I mean, he is human. He, he can, can react in any way that he wants. He can, but don't share it with us. Well, you know, for him to actually posting it on social media, that was okay. just trying for him trying to to get our uh, or maybe maybe he thought you our know, remorse you know he, he wanted to play with our emotions recognizing no that's what <laughs> that's what i'm saying <laughs> you know, sometimes our celebrities assume they are known the world wide that's what i'm saying you know, that's i problem. blame i blame you know, just because you're known in your career to be careful you're known <laughs> That's why um, I keep on insisting I blame social media because everybody feels now if I'm somebody I take a picture or a selfie I'll get a, I'll get people to back me up and make you know I think maybe he wanted the video to go viral or something you know we have another coffee or media situation where we have someone deported you understand something like that I don't know what was going on but but, but you know no. you know we should also think of the effect that that had on Damien Mali. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys know that Damien refused to talk to the press when he was at the Kenya, uh, Kenya Wildlife uh, headquarters. Mm -hmm. uh, he also refused to attend another press conference that he was scheduled to attend. And so you see, even you know the picture we portray, portray out there of who Kenyans are. You know, we, we he's portraying how hostile we are. You know that you, an international act. The son of a, the legendary <laughs> Bob Marley yes. has jetted into the country and he's being insulted. And he's even fast, he's fast and he's tired. tired. He's genuinely, he's <laughs> he's genuinely tired. Yes. It, it's a bad picture. Well, right. I think that guy should be arrested, in my honest opinion. <laughs> wow. Should be arrested. Let's, let's end it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>